Hi, and this is going to be the first Let's Play of my entire series of playing the Elder Scrolls saga, I guess, from the very beginning to their beta of uh, Legends. And so it's a little crazy trying to figure out the whole DOS box thing because it's just so old. But um, I guess we'll get into it right now. The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. Good old words from the uh, guide in Shinji. For centuries, different factions battled in petty wars and border conflicts until the Second Era, 896. Tiber Septim crushed all those who opposed him and took control, proclaiming himself as emperor. Still, the bitter years of war had its effect on the populace. The name Tamriel, elvish for Don's beauty, seldom fell from behold. Different sides of the same coin tossed every day, and the people known world began calling the land of the sorrow the arena. Now, 492 years after Tiber Septim took control and kept the peace, the land of the arena has a new threat, the Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh celebrates his 40-something. It is said that hope flies on death's wings. Prepare then for as the Elder Scrolls foretold something. The, uh, not the audio, the, uh, the pictures of the thing just scrolls way too fast. Seven. 
probably not gonna be my strongest suits. I'm just rape and pillage. That's what that's what the Nords are known for. Um. So I thought there was a regenerate. seen the option but go ahead and put a couple of points in strength throw some in endurance as well vitality will be key also um, luck for me in any of the fallout or elder scrolls games has always been one of those stats in my opinion that uh is uh is one of the things that is so underlooked in the games I feel like I've I've started um with a game with a fat man that I found within like 30 minutes like the first dungeon in Fallout 4 I get the fat man and it's just one of those things where you don't really think about it but everything you do in the game involves that stat in some way so it's kind of nice to uh, to have that stat buffed up a little bit instead of just the typical 50. But here we go. This is a uh, Rhea Silmain. She died from Jaeger Tharn, the, the Imperial Battle Mage. She's just uh, telling me that I need to fight and protect the land because the Battle Mage is evil. Um, he does not see you as a threat, being only a minor part of the Imperial Court, so that's kind of cool. You're actually, like, in the Imperial Court instead of other games where you're just lying around the sewers in prison for no reason. In that act of arrogance, he has made his first mistake. Look to the north wall of this cell, you will find a ruby key which will unlock the door. Take it and make your escape. The passages here were once used by Tharn. Had treasures he had stolen from the Imperial coffers. If you wish, you can gather enough to support yourself away from the Imperial seat. Be careful. There are many creatures which inhabit the sewers now. Vile rats and goblins. It's too late for me, for I am already dead. Only my power is the sorceress keeping me between this life and the next. That power, however, is waning. Do not succumb to greed, or you may find these tunnels to be your final resting place. I can still work my magic to a certain extent. If you travel west, from this cell, then south, you will find a shift gate. It will transport you far enough from the center of the empire that you should be safe. If you survive these sewers, you will see me again. Remember, Thor, Tharn has taken on the guise of the emperor. No one will gainsay his word for yours. I will come to you again in your dreams, but it is imperative that you rest from time to time, and that way I will be able to communicate with you and send my aid. So, something that I've noticed playing Morrowind a little bit, I haven't done a full playthrough of it, and even just now in this, it's it's not just like, oh, go find this, go talk to somebody, and you just automatically know where they are. You kind of have to pay attention to uh, little directions like that that they say. And so, obviously the graphics are old as well and uh one of the things that took me forever actually to figure out is how to just move around without moving my mouse you can uh just drag in the corners but you can use the number the arrows i didn't know that so you awaken in the, to the drip of water from somewhere above the cell walls are covered in slime as the chains which hang from above. Your eyes, however, immediately go to a strange ruby glint from the corner of your cell. So here's that key. Click, double click. Not close enough. Ruby key. Remember north? North side. 
side of the cell. Now let's try and figure out... Whoa. Unlock this guy real quick. And I'm gonna try and keep these videos in like 10-15 minutes just to uh, improve the watchability of them. I'm, I know when I'm looking at videos I'm not trying to watch some 30 minute ordeal of of uh, a little series that I just want to kind of watch in my free time. And something else that I've seen is that you can do a save right before you see like a little loot thing like this. And obviously you can just keep re-rolling that save to see if you can get better gear. But I'm not, uh, I'm not too crazy about that in this, uh, in this playthrough. <laughs> Just trying to uh, to beat the game and play it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the storyline of this so far. It's interesting to see how far they've come from uh, the typical um, from this basically to like the Skyrim and Elder Scrolls Online and like how crazy all that is. And so the A key pulls up the hands where you can click this button. Um, I know one of my biggest things when I first started this and why I didn't want to play it or whatever is just because the keys from... It's just not normal of how we play games today, I guess. And so A, you put him up. And to strike, you will... Oh, he's got stuff. Don't really need it, but I can sell it. You can pull your fists up and you right click... And then if I wanted to punch with my right hand, I swipe it to the left. It's kind of weird how that works, but at the same time, it makes sense. So, it says go west. But I don't know if it means directly west, right outside of my cell. So let's, uh, seems safe to rest in these niches. You think the rats or other creatures may not smell you with the draft that runs so close? Okay. So that's what these little platforms are. So you can kind of rest if there's like an enemy nearby and they won't smell you per se. A little safe, safe place. up rat but something I hate is that if you're if you're too close you can't pilfer or loot if it's if it's this close to you because you see the X is like the okay so I guess if you click a little bit above it it's fine but how the arrow is there instead of the X I don't know but if you wanted to Pilfer instead of just trying to click, you push the P button. A lot of a lot of the things like that in this game are pretty pretty understanding about how how they work. Go, uh, should I go more west or try and, try and go down here? So another thing I hate about the hands is how how much of the room in front of you they kind of take. I don't want to get in the water. I feel like you can get through this without jumping in the water. previous little like one or two minute tries of playing this, uh, you can get killed pretty quick. So that's why uh, 
vitality is definitely going to be one of those skills that I boost up. Luck, as always, like I just said. Now, I'm not sure what the level cap in this is, but I'm sure it's, it's decent. Oh, is this one of those little caches that she was talking about? Oh, that might just be some random item, I guess. Or little worldly object, I suppose. Oh, Ow. Oh, they, they can attack me while I'm like that? Alright, let me see if... So the green is definitely, uh... uh so the green is endurance, I don't have a blue gauge, so I'm not a spellcaster. That's why this, uh, this central mic is definitely out there. And I don't know what this one is. spellcasters. So I guess me wearing it, it's kind of a debuff. Um, I guess this is fine. So yes, spellbook. Not spellcaster, so. Exit that. Now see how, see how sweet the sword looks? Just over the corner, out of my way. Oh, the green is my health. Oh, I thought. Ah, oh, dang. Well, I guess I died. Or the warrior is dead in the afterworld. Sorry, I let you down. Well, I guess that will uh, conclude the first video. Uh, hopefully, that gave me a good gist of. The mechanics of everything i should have rested more but uh i guess the next video will be me uh having a better understanding of how the game works so i will see you on the next video